did receive the summons this morning, yes? I received the summons yesterday afternoon. And you had to come and testify in respect to what aspect in the motion of impeachment? There were three items yeah. which, which I listed. Kindly grab your no, um, notice of impeachment, the motion. The motion? Yeah, the motion of impeachment at volume one of the National Assembly. If you exist. And as you do so, kindly again repeat or state the thematic areas you are supposed to testify in respect to. So let me start off by, by looking at the summons which I received yesterday. So the first one, the investigation of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission of Tender, the number is given there. So Thank you. I now let's go to that particular tender. What is agreement in the notice of motion respect to that tender? What is the mover of the motion aggrieved with? Which, which page? Respect to the tender you are testifying. Which page? What is the mover of the motion aggrieved with in respect to this tender of KEMSA? It's a simple question. You don't need to refer. But I need to refer to the document, isn't it? So that you I can read the exact... Uh, okay, you can be led by your counsel. Yeah. You know the motion better than, than the witness who's been brought to this on a particular aspect. You can just take him there so that Let's we, go to we save on time. Just tell me the page, I'll be able to... You page, page 24? Page 24. Yes. Page 24. You reckon that the mover is aggrieved by indicating that the deputy president bullied him and exerted unnecessary pressure in respect to this tender, correct? As, as per the document, yes. You ha uh, that is the, the position, correct? That is what is captured here, but it's, that is not part of my evidence. That is not part of your evidence. Yeah. Does your evidence relate to the, notice of to the notice of impeachment before this assembly? It does. And, but is there a complaint in the notice of impeachment that relates to conflict of interest that you know of? And so what I would, what I would really One request minute. you let us deal with the, my evidence. Yes, we, Don't we take me to the evidence. We are dealing with it. Is there a complaint that relates to conflict of interest in the notice of motion? If yes, kindly point it out for the assembly to note. No, I wouldn't know because I haven't gone through the whole motion. You have not gone through the motion. The whole motion, I haven't. I'm Is there a complaint that relates to gifts and how gifts must be dealt with? I want to. Con I want do you to know or you do not know, Mr. I Witness? I do not know. You do not know. Yes. Now, in respect to this tender, are you aware that this Senate sat and conducted an independent investigation in that respect? I, I'm, I'm not even aware. Are I'm, you aware? I'm, I'm only aware of the investigation ESCC conducted. Yeah. So, in respect to this motion that is before the Assembly, what investigation did you conduct that relates to the gift? In this assembly, it was. I was requested to talk about. We are talking about yes. the notice of impeachment now, before the assembly, Mr. Witness. I'm referring to the summons that I was given by this house. And your summons must relate to the proceedings, I, correct? I'm not the originator of the summons. How would I know how it relates? I will confide myself to the summons. And there are three issues I was to address. One of them is gifts. How many companies be dead in that particular process? I think there were about 17. There were about 17. Yes. Did all the bids pass? Pass in terms of uh, award? Yes. Finally, the award was given to Did two companies. Yes, which companies were they? Uh, let me, let me give, get the names. Yeah, the two companies that eventually won after the Global Fund uh, conducted their own uh, tender. Yes. One is called Tianjin, your call, International Trading Company. Mr. Limited. Witness, 
Yes. The other one is A to Z. Do you know what led to the cancellation of the tender? I know. Yes, what led to the cancellation of the tender? It was direct favorism to Shobika. It was direct favorism to Shobika. And, 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 and you know... Please get tender? hold of the volume three of the documents by the deputy president. Sorry? You get hold of volume three. Council, you may assist me. Volume three of our bundle of documents. And as soon as you get it, you go to page 221. <clears throat> Volume 3, page 221, Mr. Witness. Just a minute. And as soon as you grab it, you go to paragraph 100. Which page? Page 221. 221. Paragraph 100. Volume 3. 2, 2, 1. Just one minute. Let me assist you with my bundle because you want to save time. Page 2, 21. Which, which, which Look paragraph? At paragraph 100. Paragraph 100, yes, I'm there. Yes, paragraph 100. I'm there. <clears throat> yes, can you read what the report indicates? In its report, okay. dated 25th April 2023, Global Fund noted that KEMSA had failed to apply the evaluation criteria consistently to all bidders and that none of the bidders met the minimum requirements. So what is indicated that none of the bidders met the minimum? Requirement. Requirement, yes. Let's go to page 221, 222. Now, 2? 22. 222. At paragraph 106. 222. And again, read it loudly. Notwithstanding KEMSA's reservations, in a letter dated 4th May 2023, the acting director procurement recommended termination of the process. The CEO approved, and on 5th May 2023, the termination was communicated. What was the terminated? The process. The process yes. of bidding, correct? Yes. Why was it terminated? Now. Paragraph 100, Mr. Uh, Witness. No, Paragraph counsel, 100. Counsel, look. You know, I am cross examining talk, you. I will only deal with my evidence. I will not deal with the evidence of other institutions. The Senate is an independent institution. The ESC that we know. conducted its own investigation. Please ask me questions related to the investigation. Now, after making your statement, please read the reason why the termination was actuated if at paragraph 100. If you want me just to read for the sake of it, but I'm not owning this evidence. I'm only owning the evidence by ESC. I didn't ask you to own it. To, uh, yeah. Witness, the council is asking you to read a certain paragraph. OK. Just read it. Guided. Uh, yeah. Yes. Which, which uh, paragraph? I have asked you to read paragraph 106, correct? Yes. About the terminations, correct? Yes. And I've asked you to state for the assembly the reasons why the terminations is being recommended, correct? Yes. And I've told you that that answer, you'll find it at, at page 221, paragraph 100, correct? Correct. And that the bidding was terminated because the bids failed to meet the necessary, the minimal requirements, correct? Correct. And therefore, it, the cancellation was not as a result of your alleged favorism, correct? That is not my evidence. My evidence is... Yes, I know. It was clear favorism. C clear favorism. Yeah. Look at paragraph 226. Uh, sorry, page 226. 226, I'm there. Yes. Look at paragraph 136. I'm there. Yeah. Read paragraph 136. In late April 2023, he learned from the Global Fund. Where is this learning from Global Funds? Oh, you just took me there. Yeah, look at paragraph 225 so that you can get to know who is learning. 235 or 225. Yeah, 225. 225. That is the evidence by one Dr. Andrew Mulwa, acting CEO KEMSA, correct? Now, 225, 125, if you... 225. Up here. Which paragraph? Up here. 
Yeah, submissions by Dr. Andrew Mulwa, actual yes. CEO. So what is he saying now at paragraph 136? 136, in April 2023, he learned from Global Fund pre-award review report that the long-lasting insecticide nets tender was to be cancelled on account of inconsistencies in the bid evaluation. Yes? Yes. So what, why was it cancelled? The issue would be who caused the bid? No, no, it's not who caused. We are looking at the report. What does it indicate at that paragraph, the, pub, uh, the, the, the issues of the cancellation? Paragraph 136? Yes. On account of inconsistencies. It speaks to the fact that the bid or the tender was cancelled, correct? It does, yes. And it speaks to the reason that it was cancelled on the basis or on the reason of inconsistency, correct? Correct. And therefore your testimony that it was as a result, a result of favorism does not sit well with the evidence contained at paragraph 136 of the bundle, correct? This, my no, 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 I just want you to limit yourself to that paragraph vis-a-vis -vis what you stated. That the reason for the cancellation was the inconsistency, Mr. Witness, yes? Inconsistencies, yes. But Thank you. Let's go how, on. How is the inconsistency? Let us go that, to how does that one. We shall explain in another forum, not here. Yeah. Continue. Let's go to paragraph 230. To page 230. Page 230. Yes. Which paragraph? 230. Which paragraph? Paragraph G. G, yes. Yes. Yeah. Can you read it out? At the uh, evaluation stage, the audit team established that only two bidders passed the preliminary evaluation and proceeded to the technical evaluation that is bidder number three, Tiajin Yang Call International. Which, which two team, which two companies passed? As per this one, Tianjin Yakol. Yes. International. Yes. Bidder number seven. Yes. Premier Movers Limited, contrary to evaluation committee. Is your bigger part of those bid, uh, bidders? No, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Look at paragraph, uh, look at page 231 again, paragraph J. 231. Page 231, paragraph J. Paragraph J, yes. Yes, read J. The termination of the tender complied with section 62 of the Act and the Global Fund Guidelines. So the termination was lawful, correct? And it complied with the Procurement Act, correct or not correct, Mr. Witness? Correct. Correct. Let us look at page 246. 246. Yes, page 246, paragraph 213. 246. Paragraph 213. 213, yes. Yes, what is the yeah. report indicating? Following the cancellation of the tender at Kemsa, TNT placed an order of 10.2 million nets on wombok.org website, and procurement was subsequently done in line with the technical specifications provided by the Ministry of Health. So the nets were eventually procured, correct or not correct? They were eventually procured. And it took the interventions of uh, global funds to procure them, correct? Correct. And that you look at paragraph 215, yes? Yes, I'm there. Read it out. Further, prior to the cancellation of the tender, differences arose between global fund team and the immediate former PS, State Department of Public Health and Professional Standards with regard to the operations and ongoing at the DNPM Ministry of Health, it was noted that these differences... It was noted that these differences may have played a role in the final decision by Global Funds to terminate the tender processes, correct? Correct. Did that have anything to do with the Deputy President? According to the statement you've just read? It, had not, it, it has, has nothing to do with the Deputy President. <laughs> Let us now finally answer your issues at page 271. 71. Page. Yes, and read loudly paragraph 24 and 25. 271. Paragraph. <coughs> 24 and 25. The committee, that is 24, the committee observed that following the termination of the tender while there was no apparent loss of public funds. Just read it loudly. <laughs> 
The committee observed that following the termination of the tender, while there was no apparent loss of public funds, there was no apparent loss of a loss to USD 455,589.4, approximately 70 million in procurement fees. The report from the Senate indicates there was no loss of public funds, correct? Let me read this paragraph again so that we, we, we are yes. together. Proceed. The committee observed that following the termination of the tender, while there was no apparent loss of public funds, just put Kemsa put, put a post of their posts. What has the committee observed? You don't want me to finish the yes, sentence? Yes, you, I'll, I'll, I'll lead you to that other part. Okay. What has the committee observed? No public funds lost. No public funds lost. In your investigations, separate investigations that you conducted, did you arrive at the same conclusion? The term, the did you or did you not? There was no public funds lost. There was no the public funds lost. Terminated. Thank you. Yeah. So let us look at paragraph 25. 25, yes. Yes, read it out. The committee observed that the cancellation of the tender appeared to have been influenced by Global Fund's apparent effort to exert significant control over the procurement process from the beginning to the end. Thank you. What occasioned the cancellation? The cancellation of the tender appeared to have been influenced by the Global Fund's apparent effort to exact to exact significant control over the procurement process. Is there any evidence indicating that the deputy president was involved in that processes? No. Was his companies involved? No. Was his family involved? No. Any evidence that you have before this assembly to that respect? The evidence I have. No. Any evidence that they were in, any of them were involved? On this report? On my evidence. This report? On this report, no, but my evidence is... Let us go to the next paragraph, yeah? This concluded that Global Funds teams based in Geneva, Switzerland, making multiple trips to Nairobi, Kenya, at least three times during the relevant Which period, is? raising concerns about the uh, um, autonomy and the ability of the local government. Just read it out. That is paragraph 20. Yes, the same, same paragraph. Okay. The committee observed that cancellation of the tender appeared to have been influenced by Global Fund's apparent effort to exert significant control over the procurement process from the beginning to the end. This included Global Fund team based in Geneva, Switzerland, making multiple trips to Nairobi, Kenya, at least three times during the relevant period, raising concerns about the autonomy and the ability of the local government agencies. The autonomy of the organization, correct? Let us local... look at paragraph 222 again. Sorry, page 222. Two... Page 222, Mr. Witness. 222. And while, while you get there, you look at paragraph 105, 107. Page 222. Paragraph? 107. Would, it, would you kindly read it out? 107. It is further her testimony that... I, I don't know whose testimony this is. Yeah. That is a testimony of the submissions of Terry Ramathani, immediate CEO. Okay. Yes, you find that at page 219. Yeah, but now I'm interested in paragraph 105, 107. It, it was further her testimony that the authority had struggled to maintain its autonomy. The authority has struggled to maintain its autonomy, yes. Owing to the undue influence. Owing to undue interference. Interference by the cabinet secretary. From the for cabinet secretary for health, yes, post. Who was the permanent? Who was the cabinet secretary for health at the, the time in, uh, in issue? Well, we can check that one. Yeah, who was? I. I this regime has only had two, um, two me, cabinet secretaries. Let me just confirm from my records here, because she did a letter to us. So, Council Jero. The name is uh, Namu. Just, just hold on, witness. This is Wafula. Hold on, Mr. Abdi. Yes. Yeah, sir. Uh, Council Jero. Yes, Mr. Speaker. I, I thought when you're cross-examining a witness, you cross-examine on the evidence they've given. You no, 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 no. Abandoned his evidence. Those are not the rule of cross-examination, Mr. Speaker, sir. I respectfully because, beg to differ. You know, the, reason, the reason why the witness has difficulties... He doesn't have difficulties in the speaker. No, he has. He has no, I am him asking him to read. Okay, I will be guided. Proceed. If that's your line of argument, proceed. Thank you for giving the latitude. Uh, Who was the cabinet secretary at the time the bid was being cancelled. She's Namu. Nakumicha. Nakumicha. 
Has this Senate found that what occasioned all these cancellations of these tenders was the loss of the autonomy of Kemsa? I would want to confine myself to my evidence. I know. At this time, I would want to, to talk about the evidence. Okay, then read that paragraph. Which, Just read for me. Which paragraph? Paragraph 107. And I want to finish up with you. Okay. Paragraph, paragraph 107. It was further her testimony that the authority had struggled to maintain its autonomy owing to the undue inference, interference from the Cabinet Secretary for Health. For instance, she stated that on 22nd March 2023, she received a note from the CS asking her to assist a certain Mr. Ken Ogola. She received a note from the CS asking the CEO to assist one Ken Ogola, correct? As per this statement, yes. Have you seen any uh, company associated with the Deputy President being no. accused of these interferences? No. Let's go to your bundle as I finish up, Volume 8A. Any evidence from Volume 8A that you've brought that links? That? that links the Deputy President's company to the cancellation of the tender? Yes. Look at your paragraph, uh, look at your letter dated 23rd September. Your letter dated 23rd September and look at the recommendations. Yes. What are you recommending? We are recommending for admin action against the Kemsa officials and the Ministry of Health officials. There is a pending issue. It's okay. I want you to limit yourself to what I am asking in that respect. Yes. You are recommending administrative action to Kemsa, Kemsa officials. Yes. Correct? Correct. But the file is In that particular correct. paragraph, any recommendation for the prosecution of the company in issue? In that particular paragraph? The, the file is still open. It's okay. As per these recommendations... You no. brought the documents here. We are dealing, dealing with what you have brought, not what you have in yes. the office. Yes. Any recommendation in, that, in respect of that company? No. Thank you. Let us go to a letter dated 21st August. Correct? Of my bundles? Of your bundles. By who? You, the ESCC bundles, the one that you're just looking at. Okay. Don't leave volume 8A. You, you can see the letter dated 21st August, correct? Just a minute, I, I get the letter. 21st August, yes. yes. Can you see the recommendation at yes. page 7? Yes. What are you recommending? We are recommending for the investigation established that the Chief Executive Officer at Kemsa, Terry Ramadani, failed to ensure compliance with the procurement processes and the law contrary to Section 44 of the PPD Act. That Ramathani so, was in breach of the law, correct? Correct. A person who is in breach of the law, what happens to, your, to him or her? There are many ways of uh, dealing with that. We can sanction, the law sanctions that act, correct? Exactly. Do you know what sanction was given to Terry? Um, I wouldn't know, but Do I Do you know, know that she is now currently the ambassador to New Delhi? That was not our expectation. We I know. Ad administrative action taken against the lady. So, did any person, either the chief executive officer, report to you that he has received any intimidation, harassment, bullying from no. the office of the deputy president? No. Yeah? No. Did not, you receive any not complaint? To, not we SEC. Did you receive any complaint? No. Thank you. Now, Mr. Witness, finally, where do you place your evidence in these proceedings? In these proceedings, I place my evidence on the conflict of interest bit. Conflict which, of interest. Which I said, personal interest. It's okay that you say it, and, and I understand the law. Allow me to finish, please. Uh, so show me in the notice of motion, I put it to you, that in the notice of motion, there is no charge as against the deputy president for conflict of interest. Does that surprise you, that there is no such a charge? It doesn't. Thank you. No further questions. Council for the National Assembly. You may re-examine the words.